Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Smoked Fried Truffalo Wings. That's right, I said truffalo, not buffalo. See, years ago we did a video on how to do smoked then fried buffalo wings. I love that recipe. Today we're doing something very similar, but with a bit of a different spin on the flavor profile. You see, typically when you're making a buffalo sauce, your main ingredients are gonna be a hot sauce and butter, and then whatever seasonings or cayenne you add to it. Today we're gonna cut that butter with some truffalo infused oil, hence giving us truffalo chicken wings. Now we got a couple other pretty cool little tricks that we're gonna show you along the way, but let's get started by making that sauce. All right, so we're gonna start by melting a quarter cup of unsalted butter in our skillet. We're gonna add to that our hot sauce. So we're doing two thirds of a cup of Cattleman's Grill pit fire hot sauce. This is just a vinegar based, kind of generic middle of the road hot sauce. This pit fire happens to be my favorite but you could use any number of different red hot sauces. This is where we're gonna get that vinegar tang to the buffalo sauce. We're gonna add on to that heat level a little bit by doing one tablespoon of cayenne. And you can do more or less as you like for the heat level. And then we're gonna back up those flavors with a tablespoon of granulated garlic. And then of course we need our truffle oil. So we're doing equal parts butter and oil in this recipe. So we'll do one quarter cup of our truffle infused oil. God, this stuff is just super, super aromatic. I feel like I wanna mix it with Parmesan and put it on my French fries already. All right, so this just needs to come up to a simmer so all of these flavors can start to meld. We whisk it to make kind of a temporary emulsion out of it and then we'll let it cool down before we uh, actually dress the wings in this. All right, so we've given this about two minutes just to simmer away. At this point, I'm gonna transfer it over here to this jar to cool down. Man, that is so aromatic. That truffle just makes everything else pop. So now we're gonna move on to prepping up these wings. Now, essentially what we're doing today is we're frying our wings, but we are gonna get a little smoke session in first. Now we're gonna do the frying on the side burner of the Napoleon Phantom 500, uh, but in the meantime, there's a couple of things going on. So first of all, we're gonna coat these wings in a little bit of cornstarch and some seasoning. And that cornstarch is really going to help us to get a crispy exterior on these wings. Now, there needs to be a little bit of time where that cornstarch can attach. Usually about 20 minutes is the right amount of time. So I figured we're gonna let these wings have that rest time inside the grill with a little bit of smoke rolling. Not a lot of heat, but enough time for that cornstarch to attach. Then we can move to the side burner to fry them. Now the great thing about what we're doing today is we're working with these whole wings. We've got about four and a half, five pounds here. Uh, we're gonna leave them whole for the frying process. Uh, because we're going to be frying these in a skillet, it's just easier to leave them all in one big piece so you've got one turn instead of two. The only trimming that really needs to be done is if there's kind of like anything, any excess stuff hanging off. And if some of these have like, like a big old flap of skin attached to it, we don't need that. But otherwise, not much trimming to do here. So let's go ahead and mix up this seasoning cornstarch mixture. We're just gonna do equal parts here. For our seasoning, we're using Our Butts Are Smoking Our Steak Rub. This is a rub that's fairly fine in uh, texture, and that's kind of important for what we're doing. We don't want a lot of extra texture going on here. Something that'll attach to the wings. But for the most part, just nice savory flavors, right? Nothing overwhelming, nothing that makes it stand out a lot. We wanna taste the truffalo sauce more so than the rub. So we're gonna do, like I said, equal parts of the seasoning and cornstarch. We'll start with three tablespoons of each. And let's just give that a mix. And that's what we're going to coat these wings with. All right, all we need now is for this cornstarch to start to attach to that chicken. And like I said, since we're gonna have to do that resting period anyway, let's do it on the grill with a little bit of smoke. Now, like I said, today we're cooking on the Napoleon Phantom 500 gas grill. Kind of a unique setup though, so come check this out. I'll explain what we're doing. I've got our charcoal basket in place right now, right in the middle. And I've got a couple of little pieces of applewood down here. The burners right underneath this are on low. 
No other burners are on though. So there's not a lot of heat going on down here. But what we're starting to see is just a little bit of smoke coming off of these chunks. In fact, we can help that along by lighting them up and blowing them out. But we just kind of want these to add a little bit of ambient smoke to the chamber as we place our chicken wings in here. Now we're going to utilize the second rack on the grill here. In fact, we can use our little uh, chicken wings slots here. I'll throw these wings in place. These flats tend to cook a little bit quicker, so it's probably good for them to be a little bit higher away from the heat. But generally speaking, whatever grill that you're cooking on, you want, want indirect heat with just a little bit of smoke coming off of our apple wood. I think the temperature read somewhere around 300, 275. Should start to see some smoke from these new pieces as well here in a second. But for now, let's close this up. Let's we'll set a timer for 20 minutes. Well, this is about 20 minutes in. You can look how the texture on the surface of these wings has completely changed. See that cornstarch is really starting to dry out the surface of the wing and that's what's gonna make it so crispy. Down here, our little bit of wood just smoking away. The heat is completely off at this point. We're ready to start frying these off in our hot oil. Now the oil here, we've just got vegetable oil filled about a third of the way up our skillet, sitting at about 375 degrees. And so we can just start to pluck these wings off one by one and carefully place them into our oil. All right, so I look to get some good browning before we flip these over and get the other side. Not terribly concerned about the wing tips. We're gonna lose those anyway. Now once these wings hit about 175 internal, they're ready to come out of the oil. And I'm gonna move them right back over here to the grill. Again, the grill's not on anymore, so they're just gonna kinda hang out here and stay warm for the, for the time being while we fry off the rest of these wings. All right, round two's coming out. Kinda nice to actually be able to transfer these over to these grates where some of that grease can drain off before we toss this in the sauce. We are all done frying now. We're gonna take our wings back to the board here and I'm just gonna separate these before we toss them. If you wanna leave them whole for presentation, you can totally do that, but obviously it's a little bit easier to eat once you break them down. We're just gonna take your knife and go right down in between the joints. Especially once these are cooked, they're pretty easy to take apart. Good idea to have some cottons on right now too because these are still pretty dang hot. We are ready to sauce these wings which are, we just gave them a little taste. They're pretty dang tasty without the sauce but of course we are here for the truffalo. Bring that sauce back together just by giving it a shake or a whisk if it's in a bowl. It's got just that right viscosity right now to completely coat the outside. And you guys can see how crispy these things are from that cornstarch coating. It's going to work its way into every little nook and cranny of those fried wings. Yeah, and the smell is unreal right now. Buffalo meats, truffle, the magic of the truffalo. All right, well, let's get a taste. I'm going for a flat. Wow. I know it's good because I've had it before, but it's good all over again. Man, it's slightly spicy, depending on your tolerance for that sort of thing. Flavors are unreal though. The buffalo sauce is tangy. You got the spicy, you got the salty, but the truffle aroma throughout brings the umami, whole nother level of depth to chicken wings. Crunchy at the ends, even now. Soaked in sauce has crunch to it. And of course, just bite through tender skin because of that cornstarch we put on there before we fried them. It's a really killer combination, but if it's not something you've tried with buffalo wings before, it's probably worth giving a shot. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Three wings later, I'm going to retract the statement that it's mildly spicy because I'm feeling it. I got the burn around my lips right now and it's awesome. You guys can adjust that with the cayenne. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.